Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tea Time with Tanya. I'm Tanya. How you doing today? Today is Monday, the 24th of August, 2020. We are literally, this is the end of the month, guys. Next Monday, it's, it's over. We're in September. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's start today off with a blessing. We definitely need one. Oh, dear creator, dear spirit guides, dear universe. Please give us a blessing for this day. A blessing for the collective to carry with us as we move along this day. A blessing for us. Okay, we get, look at this tree. This tree looks like it's been struck by lightning. There's electricity, movement. There's so much happening, the color. This is the blessing of questioning. Examine and identify any belief that stems from an irrational fear. Ask yourself, do I still need this? If the answer is no, then replace it with a trusting, more loving belief. Blessings flow to you as soon as you do this. Set yourself free. Namaste. Let me read this again. This is a very important and beautiful blessing. The blessing of questioning. Examine and identify any belief that stems from an irrational fear. Ask yourself, do I still need this? If the answer is no, then replace it with a trusting, more loving belief. Blessings flow to you as soon as you do this. Set yourself free. Namaste. This is a beautiful blessing. Because this is telling us all those things that, that we have been, that have been placed on us that we have been forced to believe through fear. Um, let it go. It's, it does not serve you. Replace that with something that adds value to your life. Fear lowers your vibration. Anger lowers your vibration. It makes you susceptible to the darkness. When you raise your vibration, when you live in your truth, you see the world more clearly. You see things as they truly are. And this is what is most important for us these days going forward. Like I said, the, the next 10 days are going to be fully chaotic. It is important that we put the energy into recognizing in, into our discernment, into reading the roadmaps to seeing what is going on and understanding. This is very important. Nature in the universe has a way of protecting us, showing us where there's danger. We have to pay attention to that. Pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention. I'm going to repeat this every time I'm on because this is very important. If you're in a store, especially if you're driving, pay attention. The energies right now, the chaos, will cause accidents, incidents, uh, violent outbursts. It is very important that we are aware of what is around us and also be aware of what type of energy we are projecting, okay? It is, it is very important that we maintain positivity. Live, stand in your truth, speak your truth, stand in the light, speak out against the evil. You must speak out. It's time to choose sides, guys. Good morning, okay. Today I have four questions. 
The first question is by Denise S. And this is an important question. Um, Louis DeJoy is right now testifying in front of Congress again. I had to turn it off, guys. I had to turn it off. It was so disgusting. The fluffing and the glad handing that goes on. The, the complete unwillingness for, for, for the Republican Party to hold anyone accountable when they are hurting the American population. We are seeing, you are seeing the darkness. Pay attention, guys. So the question is, will the post office debacle be fixed by election time? Will the post office, will everything that DeJoy has destroyed, will it be fixed by election? Will the post office be fixed before election? Will the post office be fixed before election? Here we go, guys. Here we go. Okay. First card out. We get the two of wands, the weight of the world. Okay. Holding the weight of the world in his hands. This has got to be Louis DeJoy's energy right here. So... The Two of Wands. Uh, the Weight of the World, Riches, fortu uh, Fortune, Suffering, and Diseases. I have a feeling this is going to be on the suffering side. Crossed by the King of Swords. There's Donald, guys. There's Donald's energy. This is the War Donald. This is the Severe Donald. This is Power, Command, and Authority. Okay, this is Donald in his war phase. The third card, what is above? We get the magician, the fix, the, the, the manipulation, the changing. This card is saying that they are going to do everything they can to slow down. They are, they are going to destroy processes. They are going to break the system. Oh. The fourth card, the distant past, we get the three of wands. This is waiting for your ship to come in. This is trade and commerce. This is overseas. This is, this is going to be important, guys. This may be something that will help us. Because the, the post office slowing down the, the post from in, within the United States is, is, is one thing, but it's slowing down the post throughout the world. So this is, going to, this is going to become an issue that will have to be dealt with. The fifth card, the recent past events, we get the four of swords, the, 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 the coffin card, the repose, this is, this, uh, the four of swords is, uh, vigilance, retreat, solitude, this is the hermit's repose, exile, tomb, cosh, uh, coffin. So, uh, DeJoy is going to face some severe backlashes from this. Um, he's going to get drawn personally into this not just on being the head of, of a government agency. He is going to be, this is going to come down to him personally. The sixth card, the future influence, we get the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is widowhood, female sadness, embarrassment, absence, uh, sterility, and privation. This is, this is not a good card, guys. The seventh card, the questioner. Will the post office debacle be fixed by election time? We get the nine of swords. This is, this is like death. This is anxiety, sleepless nights. This is, this is trouble. This is trouble keeping, keeping us awake. The eighth card, the environmental factor. We get the six of swords. 
wanting to escape. This is where DeJoy's energy is, wanting to escape. Pack up the wife, pack up the kids, get on a boat and get out of town. Okay, um, this is how he's feeling. But he is, he is doing exactly as he was told. He is doing exactly what he was put in this position to do. The ninth card, the inner emotions, we get the five of cups. We're looking at loss, guys. We're looking at loss. The final card, the final outcome, we get the knight of cups. The knight of cups is arrival, approach, a messenger, advances, propositioning, demeanor, and invitation. What we did not get was a yes. So, Denise, let's, let's look at the base of the pack. No, we get abuse of power. So, no. What DeJoy has done to the post office, we will be dealing with long after the election is over. Um, like, I, like I keep telling you guys, Donald Trump has destroyed, is destroying, over the last four years, he has destroyed almost every government entity that we have. He has taken out the heads, the, the civilian heads, and put in his own people. He has piece by piece dismantled America. He has. And the post office was the last thing on his, was the last thing to do. Now, don't, don't get upset and don't get it twisted. Things will never go back to the way that they were. This is by design. We have been awakened. We, all this is being brought up to be purged. The, the light has been shined on the deficiencies that we have. It has been brought up to be shined so that these processes can be rectified, can be fixed, can be bolstered up and strengthened. That is what is going to happen with America, guys. That is what is going to happen. Post-Trump. This is a lesson. Trump is a lesson for the ages on how easily a democracy can slip into authoritarianism. Trump is the final. Trump is the straw that breaks the camel's back. And we are here to see it and hear the snapping. What's going to happen is we will rebuild. We will rebuild this country from the ground up. That's why it's so important that everyone imagines. When you meditate, when you pray, imagine the world that you want to live in. Create the world that you want to live in. How you want it to be. Everything. Imagine how you want your life to be, how you want to interact with other people. This is the time. We are the creators. It's time, guys. This is our mission. Okay, my second question is by Shelly M. And her question is, does Trump know he's sick? Okay. And we can, you can put that in any way you want to. Mentally, physically, does Trump know that he is sick? Does Trump know that he is not well? Does Trump know that he is not well? I almost feel like asking, do the people around Trump know that he's not well? But let's, let's ask on Trump. Does he know that he is not well? Okay. Does Trump know that he is not well? Does Trump know that he is not well? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Does Trump know that he is not well? First card, we get the fool. Oh my goodness. We get the fool. This is... Uh, Folly, mania, extravagance, intoxication, and frenzy. This is someone walking around without a care in the world. Completely ignorant 
of everything. Crossed by. Oh, we got that three of wands again. Waiting for the ship to come in. Waiting for help. Searching. The third card, the goal or destiny, what's above. We get the page of wands, the opulent heralder. This is the one coming in with the news. This one is the one coming in screaming with news. The distant past, the fourth card. We get the weight of the world again. Okay, this is very interesting because this one, this is a trouble card holding the weight of the world. And this is also a sickness card. The two of rods. Let me read that. The two of wands. Uh, weight of the world, riches, fortuning, uh, riches fortu fortune, suffering, and disease. So this is in the distant past. This is a fourth house. So this card is kind of saying that Trump has been sick for a while. And yes, Mary, Shelly. Shelly, yes, since this is coming out in the fourth place, and this is the card of sickness, yes, he knows he's sick, and it's been, it's been going on for a while. The fifth card, the recent past events, we get the, the empress. The, the empress is fruitfulness, initiative, the unknown, doubt, and ignorance. So we've got ignorance twice. We got ignorance as the signifier card. And now we've got ignorance below him. So this is saying, yes, he knows he's sick. But like so many of us, he's like, well, if I don't acknowledge that, that there's something wrong, then I can pretend that there is nothing wrong. So this is how he is, he is dealing in it. This is like a diabetic person eating, eating candy when they know it will hurt them. But because it, the effects aren't immediate. They'll do it anyway, even though they know that it will hurt them. The sixth card, the sixth, the future influence. We get, there's our yes, guys. We get the three of cups, okay? This is the completion of a cycle. This is also a, a celebration card. This is a yes. So, yes, Shelly, Trump does know he's sick. He does know he's sick. Let's continue this and pull him. Loss, hope, <laughs> loss, theft, and abandonment. So this, the star is his seventh card. This is his present position. Loss, theft, and, and abandonment. Okay? And in, in Trump's case, no, this is not the star of good hope. This is not the star of everything's coming up roses. This is loss. Um, at this point right now, right now, Trump is feeling his mortality more than anything. And I know a lot of you people are, are not going to watch the RNC. I don't blame you. I'm not going to watch it either. I couldn't even, I couldn't even watch the, the, the DeJoy hearings because of the, the, just the disgusted energy that I'm feeling already. So, I, but there's so many ways that you'll be able to see it. YouTube highlights it. So you will be able to see the debacle without having to lend any type of uh, support to that uh, by giving it ratings. Okay, the eighth card, the environmental factor on does Trump know that he is sick? We get the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups reads, this is a good, fair, honest woman, a gift of vision, success, and happiness. This is the eighth card. Um, this is the questioner's influence on other people. The ninth card, the inner emotion, we get judgment. Change of position, guys. Change of position. Things are going to start moving, okay? But yeah, Trump knows he's sick. And the final card, we get the moon. The moon, what's done in the dark will, will be shown in the light, but this is hit, hidden, inner, hidden enemies, danger, and darkness. This is terror, deception, and error. So, yes, Trump knows he's sick. Trump does know he's sick, and there's also more stuff coming out around his sickness. I think at some point it may be hard for him to hide it. Look at how he stands, guys. He's leaning with that one arm straight. To me, I feel like he's had a, a stroke or a mini stroke on, on, that, on his left side or on his right side. Yes, on his right side. He leans 
he leans to the right and that right arm just kind of hangs at his side so um we'll see we'll 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 be able to see before before the election comes we'll we'll know much more about his illnesses okay my fourth question fourth question will melania divorce trump in 2021 will melania pack her bags and walk away in 2021 Will Melania divorce Donald in 2021? Or should I say, will Melania divorce Trump when he doesn't win re-election? Will, will Melania divorce Trump? We'll just keep it simple. Will Melania divorce Trump? Here we go, guys. Will Melania divorce Trump? First card we get, we get the Nine of Cups. We get the little emperor protecting his assets. This right here is that prenup. <laughs> Crossed by, oh my gosh, the Five of Pentacles left in the cold. So she is she is afraid of being left destitute. He must have he must have renegotiated some some serious things. But there's our answer, guys. Third card out. Yes, yes, yes. Melania is going to divorce the Donald. She is going to divorce him. I guess she doesn't even care if she's destitute. Let's pull the, these six. She's tired. She's tired of fighting. She's tired of the whole thing. She didn't want it to begin with. The fifth card, what is below? You get the opulent, the, the, uh, the uh, cheerful giver. So we're in the right energy. It is all about the money. The only reason that she stayed was because of the money. But she's at, at this point, she doesn't even care about that. It, she must have enough put away to take care of her, her and her son, or she must have enough in that prenup to know that she won't have to worry. Barron's only 13. So uh, Trump will have to pay for the next, uh, until, until he's 18, so for the next five years. So she's going to be taken care of regardless, um, and probably throughout his, his college education as well. So, the six card, the 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 six card out. There's our second yes. We get the world. That's a huge. So we get a giant yes. No need to pull anymore. Melania is 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 gonna tell Donald to kick rocks. She's gonna tell. She's leaving. She's out of there. And I don't think anybody can blame her. We're, we're seeing so much more about the dynamics, the inner workings of this family. It is very tumultuous. Um, and you, if you can feel how icky it is, imagine being in that family. If it feels icky to you looking at it from the outside, feel how gross it must be if you're on the inside of that family. Oh my gosh. My last question, guys, last question of the day. Will Putin embarrass Trump? Okay, Putin, and this is one thing that, that everyone needs to really know about Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin, um, ex-KGB officer, relentless. Uh, he was a horrible, um, violent, dark, dark, dark ent entity when he was with the KGB. And now he is the violent, dark leader of the USS or the farm, former USSR. Okay. So knowing how he is and what he has said his whole career, he hates America. He's always hated America. His, his goal in his life is to bring down America. So will Putin embarrass Donald Trump Will Putin embarrass, publicly embarrass, humiliate Donald Trump? Will Putin embarrass Donald Trump? And the cards don't want to be shuffled anymore. Here we go, guys. Will Putin embarrass Trump? First card out, we get the nine of pentacles. The having more than any one person could ever have. This card this is the ultimate greed card. This is the one who, who has more than enough, but still wants to acquire more. Crossed by, 
the Knight of Wands, the Scaredy Cat Horse. Change of position, change of residence. Things will be moving. The goal or destiny, the third card, what is above this three times in a row, holding the weight of the world in, in, in your hands, in his hands. Things are changing. This card is showing that the world is changing and the weight is heavy. The changes are going to is are not going to work against those that wish to harm the world. The the fourth card, the distant past, we get that fool again. Folly, mania, extravagance, ignorance. The fifth card, the recent past events, we get the Knight of Pentacles, the steadfast horse. This is the waiting for the instructions, standing in wait, awaiting instructions, guys. Pay attention to this card. Pay attention. The sixth card, the future influence. Is Vladimir Putin going to embarrass or humiliate Trump? We get the four of pentacles. We get the little emperor protecting his horde, holding on to everything he's got with everything he's got. This card is a, is a card of, of fear. The seventh card. We get the hangman, okay? The seven card, the questioner. This is the uh, present position attempts to place the questioner in their proper perspective. The questioner, this is about Vladimir Putin. And is he going to withdraw or, or is he going to embarrass Trump? We get the hanged man. We get the hanged man. This is seeing things in a, a different light. A change, a change of how things are going to proceed. This is like a giant question mark, okay? The hanged man, wisdom, trials, uh, discernment, sacrifice, innovation, divination, and prophecy. The eighth card, the environmental factor on will uh, Putin embarrass Trump. We get the five of swords. This is picking up the pieces after the battle. And this is people walking away. Okay, so this could signify that uh, Putin may uh, walk away from Trump, may withdraw his support. But let's go on. We have not got an ace or a yes yet. The ninth card, the inner emotions, we get the page of pentacles. Page of pentacles. This is more news. And we, what we're getting, guys, is a lot of information. A lot of news is coming in. And the tenth and final card, we get the Eight of Rods. This is information coming in swiftly. Um, but what we did not get was a yes. So let's look at the bottom. Oh my goodness, there's a sneaky. There's the sneaky one. We did get the yes at the very base of the card. We got the biggest yes in the card, in the deck. So, it won't be right away, but yes, Putin will do something that will embarrass or humiliate Trump, but it will be coming later. It won't, it, it's not coming right away. It will be coming later. Okay, guys. Oh my goodness. This has been my reading for today. Thank you so much for, for being with, for being here with me. Please like, share, and subscribe. These days, like the next 10 days, the next 70-something days until the election, we are going to be moving through so much chaotic energy. It is going to be so important for us to recognize what is real and what is not real. This is going to be one of the hardest things we're going to have to deal with, discernment. A lot of people are waking up, and in that awakening, people are going to be questioning their belief systems, everything. This is the time to, to be talking to, to, your, to your fellow men, to, to be a, a shoulder, to be a rock for others. It is our job to help each other. This is what we are being forced to see right now is that we need each other. We are, we are a village. 
And these times are to bring us back to being a village. Everything is being broken, being torn apart so that it can be rebuilt in a sustainable, humanitarian fashion. It's not about how much money one makes. It truly is about happiness. I love you guys. I love you. Things will, things will be chaotic. Make sure that you're paying attention. Ask questions. Question everything. Do not take anything for granted. If it doesn't feel right to you, it probably isn't right. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. Have a fantastic rest of the day, guys. Bye-bye.